morning. I'm a bit early. Chris's PA is coming this morning, and she always wants to come at 8, so i got to get this done, right? Oh, so I, I, rather than waiting till after, it's easier for me to do it before. So I hope you're having a great morning. I hope you've had a great week. hope you have some great weekend plans. Oh, it's a holiday weekend here too, isn't it? It is a holiday weekend. That's awesome. It doesn't really mean anything because I'm going to work. <laughs> but I'll sneak in some play here and there, too. It looks like the weather's going to be great. Chris and I may have to sneak out a place or two. Uh, I don't know. We'll just have to see what's going on. I was looking at the weather tomorrow. It looks nice. So we'll we'll see. We may have to sneak out just a little bit. Just a little bit of play, right? So I hope you have some So I have some family time planned. And it's just go, it's going to be great. So I hope you're looking forward to a great weekend, too. Of course, I'll be here in the morning. So that's, that's standard. On Saturday but I don't do this on Sunday so anyway so this morning I uh, woke up and I was I was reading I started reading in some pro in Proverbs Proverbs is so good and somehow I ended up in Isaiah I, I don't even know how but I did and I came across this again and I'm like when am I going to get it I would say we but I'm not gonna put that on y'all when am I gonna get it in Isaiah 20 now Isaiah 26 has one of our script our fav, favorite scriptures anyway right it was my mom's life scripture Isaiah 60, 6, 26 3 he will keep him in perfect peace whose heart is stayed whose mind is stayed on the Israel. King James says the new king the new living translation says you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you then he says, trust in the Lord, and whose thoughts are fixed on you. Trust in the Lord always, for the Lord God is the eternal rock. Isn't that, Dwayne Johnson ain't got nothing on God. Because <laughs> God is the eternal rock, right? <laughs> so so um, I was looking at that, and then I, I just started reading down through the, the chapter, and I realized that they were in a really rough situation. They were being oppressed. The wicked were ruling. There were bad things going on. Uh, they don't, the, the wicked don't see your upraised fist, God, show them your, show them your eagerness to defend your people. I mean, they were in a hot, they were in a tight spot, right? And so Isaiah, this is kind of, Isaiah is singing this praise for, to God, it says, he says, all night long, I search for you earnestly, I seek for you, God. He's going through all these things, he's going, when are you going to come and judge the earth? No, well, I ain't prayed that lately. Have you prayed that lately? <laughs> no, no, but when he does, it's gone, not going to be good for some, <laughs> you know, because we've got, so if we look at the atrocities that are going on in the world today, it has to at least be similar to the oppression Isaiah was feeling here. He was going, the wicked are ruling, the innocent are dying. Have we ever seen more? I've never, and I'm not going to, I don't want to get political, but I've never seen people so adamant about wanting to kill their own children in their womb. This should be the safest place on earth. You know, and I've never, I, I don't, uh, yes, I'm a pro-lifer. I'm sorry. I'm not going to, well, I, I, actually, I'm not going to apologize for that. God told Jeremiah, I saw you being formed in the womb. David says in, one, in Psalm 139, God, the, God knew me as my tissue came together, my fingers formed, and my heart started beating. God knows that. And I, so I, that, that is one thing that weighs on my heart is, is how we've, how society and the world has come down to being comfortable with killing a baby in the womb. And they don't even care for full term anymore, right? And fighting for that right? Who's standing up for the baby's right? And so, so I, I, understand, I say all that just to say, I think I understand a little bit of Isaiah's passion. He's going, people, innocent people are being killed. We're being oppressed. The, the, the ungodly are trying to force us into crazy situations. God, when are you going to come and defend us? And that was in the middle of that. But yet, right, sandwiched in all of that sandwiched in all of that he starts it with you will keep those in perfect peace who trust in you even though the wicked are raging even though the wicked are doing crazy things even though even though people uh, are, are doing things that just we can't even fathom to other people i don't get that <laughs> thankfully right but he's still saying in the middle of all of that god can keep us in perfect peace when we keep our minds on him and when we put our heart in his, right? But he goes on down 
He said, all night long I search for you, God. And remember, Jeremiah said, when you search for God, God goes, I'm right here, man. I am right here when we search for him seriously and earnestly, right? But so we go on down the chapter and look at this. We have found, I found this again in the Bible. Imagine that. Verse 12 says this, Lord, you will grant us peace. He's going to give it. He gives peace. And so I titled this, Can We can we Take It? <laughs> you know, because we, we talked about Jesus said, I'm leaving my peace with you. My peace. Uh, King James says, my peace I'm leaving with you. My peace I'm giving to you. And here it is in the Old Testament. Isaiah is going, God can grant us peace even in the middle of a crazy, crazy time. And they had crazy times too. It's really not shocking that in all of these what's it been a couple at least two over two thousand years the world really hasn't changed crazy people just don't care about murdering and killing and they try to get ahead there in their view of getting ahead and 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 we still act the same we just have new technology to to carry it out <laughs> you know and that's that's shameful but it, human nature is human nature right the lord will give us peace can we take it? I pray that today you seek him, you recognize his peace, you take his peace, and you let it reign in your heart. Just go ahead and peace out today because he's got us. And there's the doctor. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.